What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out a very special adventure map. This is under the 1.16.5 update and it even features the Herobrine mod. This is the Tower of Notch or rather the new Tower of Notch. Uh, made by Leonard. We featured Leonard a lot on the channel. He's always making really cool adventure maps, uh, builds so many cool things. So definitely go and check out his channel down below. I've also included, included the link to this map down below so you guys can go and download it for yourself as well. This really cool cinematic right here was made by Leonard. He sent it over to me. Such a cool cinematic and definitely a great trailer for this adventure map. I went ahead and played this adventure map after he sent it to me and it is so much fun. So enjoy the rest of the cinematic and then let's go ahead and start playing through this map. All right, so we start off on a shipwreck down by the water. We get a stone sword, some rotten flesh, but there is another chest over here that has an iron sword. Also, if you don't wanna get all these spoilers to this map and you just wanna play it through for yourself, don't watch the rest of this video. We're gonna play through a lot of the map. So if you don't wanna spoil it, tune out right now. Go check out the map for yourself. But let's go ahead and keep wandering on we exit the boat, and since we have the Herobrine mod on, you're gonna notice a lot of different mobs will attack us, and they have those bright white eyes, just like Herobrine. Definitely terrifying experience, but this is a really fun map. You just have to be very careful for all of those mobs that are gonna be staring at you. The first section that we just passed through is just a small tent section before we get into this main city here. Luckily all these mobs are one hit kill with a sword so you're not going to have any problem fighting them off but there are going to be a lot of them and some of them will hit you with different effects like the withering effect or blindness so you definitely have to be careful of all of that and you have to be careful of other mobs like sheep that are going to attack you when you least expect it. But as you fight through this whole city area, you're gonna be able to find a lot of chests to gear up before you actually head into the tower that's ahead of us. There's tons of good loot out here. You can get iron swords, all the armor that you need, bows, crossbows, arrows, and food, all before you head into the temple. But once you head into the temple, that's where the real loot is gonna be, and you're really gonna want it for all the mobs that are ahead. There's creepers, shulkers, and so much more inside that you're going to have to fight through. It's definitely going to be a tough battle, but if you can make it to the top, you're going to love this adventure map. There's also plenty of potions to pick up as well. You can get jump, speed, regen, health, and even some poison if you want to use poison to throw it at the mobs. You might even find yourself some poison arrows as well, which could be helpful against some of the mobs that you're going to face. You can see here though, I had the nausea and the blindness effect on, which made it really difficult, but I was still able to fight through all the mobs. But now we actually get to enter the tower. This build is absolutely incredible. Leonard did a great job with all the details. The floor looks amazing, all that diorite, but it's all broken up. You can also find some very unique items, which are gonna come from that Legend of Herobrine mod, which I'll include the link for down below as well. That's gonna have some items like the cursed diamonds and also that dust that I just picked up and it's also going to put Herobrine in the game as well as change up the mobs that you're going to be facing. This whole area right here I didn't even realize there were skeletons on the side until the end. The smoke covered them up so well. Such a good idea to hide those skeletons and I may have missed a creeper or two in, in that fight which almost got me blown up but fortunately the creepers aren't doing damage to their surrounding area. 
But as I said, you can find some really good loot inside of here. Tons of diamonds, golden carrots, and even some diamond armor. And later, you're even going to be able to find netherite armor as well, which is going to be super useful for the later battles. This is also going to just clog your inventory up. You're going to have to get rid of all the old loot. So just make sure you keep tossing that stuff into the boxes. You're not going to need it all. So go ahead, get rid of that leather or iron armor once you have a better upgrade inside here. Also, make sure you look out for hidden pathways and hidden rooms. You can find chests all across this whole interior. Up here is not that hidden, but there are definitely some hidden portions where you can find some more loot that could be helpful to you. Once you get down into this room, this is where Herobrine was summoned, but make sure you're gonna want to avoid the middle pressure plates. I walked on it just to see what happened and then instantly got struck by lightning. I absolutely love Minecraft adventure maps. I play them every chance I get when I find new ones. They're so fun. This one in particular is a ton of fun as well. I loved battling through all the mobs. Making the mobs one hit was also a great decision as well. Just made it a little easier to kill them all and just more fun to progress through big waves of mobs. Of course, Herobrine was summoned here, but this is not the end of the map. It continues up the tower as you have to face different levels of mobs. You're going to see some name tags up here. Those are the shulker guards that are going to be guarding this area up here. This is probably one of the hardest rooms. You've got pillagers shooting arrows at you, creepers and zombies spawn in here, and then you're going to have shulkers firing at you the entire time, which is going to be difficult as you're going to be floating around the entire room. Also, be incredibly careful of those end crystals up there. I really debated on shooting them right here, which I probably should have to have saved myself the damage later. They will blow up that entire staircase area, which is a little unfortunate because that's what happened to me. I didn't end up shooting these things though, these shulkers did right as I got near them. So that was definitely a terrifying experience and got me down to about two hearts. So that was a very close encounter but luckily i had the netherite armor that i picked up and of course totems and everything else i would have needed to survive that incident definitely a ton of fun though this map looks incredible all the different details around here you can see the interior looks great the exterior of this tower looked great as well with that huge notch statue right on the front of it you can see here this is definitely a very difficult portion of this map as you have all the shulkers shooting at you and this is of course where the end crystals blew up on me <laughs> anyways though this map was a ton of fun so shout out to leonard for doing the recreation of the tower of notch it's a ton of fun and the link down to leonard's channel will be down below so you can check out his video on it and all his other builds as well definitely go and do that incredible builder and map maker anyways though that is all the time that we have for you guys today if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on it and if you want to check out this map hit those links down below as well so you can check it out for yourself it's a ton of fun so i highly recommend it but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time